The Sith induction ceremony brought together high-profile clergymen to usher into office ordained men of God. According to the church's constitution, the new crop of leaders will be in office for the next five years and see to promote the ideologies of the church. The new executives and the National Council members for the Great Commission Church International were charged to see to the growth of the church by evangelizing. Chairman for the National Council members, Apostle Dr. Samuel Vincent Ansar, implored all the newly elected executives to diligently pay heed to the demands of God. Profess Christian, to be Christians, but many people too are nominal Christians. You see, so they are, their Christianity actually does not click. Okay, now it is important that if you are truly born again and you know that that friend, that brother, that sister, your mother, your auntie, you know, is, is on the broad way to destruction and you don't feel pity for him, there's something wrong with you. Yes, so I will pray that we from time to time, because the pressures of life can, can, also, can also divert and sway away your, your vision of evangelism. I pray that, that, that in spite of our circumstances, we'll be able to see that the soul of every person is important and that if people are not born again and they walk into destruction, we... Also speaking to City News, Apostle JFK Mensah urged religious leaders to take up the mandate to produce men and women of character to mount the affairs of the country. We produce within the church men and women of character you see integrity honesty faithfulness hard work those things are not taught in the universities so the moral fiber of the nation is built by the church and where the church fails then it is difficult to produce for the country men for parliament who will serve the nation with honesty so we don't just meet on Sundays we meet so that lives will change so that thieves will become honest people prostitutes will become sober women who can marry and stay families will be raised up Reacting to the topical issue of LGBTQ plus activities creeping into Ghana's indigenous culture, First Vice President for the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, Right Reverend Dr. Gordon Kise, said all in Sanju must stand against the act to prevent the extinction of mankind. In addition to what the parliament is doing, every Ghanaian must be on the lookout. We should not encourage boy-boy relationships in boarding schools, girl-girl relationships in boarding school. We should encourage that marriages will be sound and strong. We should also encourage the Ghanaian to value our culture. Our culture is rich. So young people listening to me, don't imbibe a foreign culture because it's foreign and you think it's good. All the foreign cultures are not good. Some are good. Education is good. Discipline, integrity is good. But smoking and uh, going into hems and drugs is foreign to us. So foreign culture is bad. We should avoid it. LGBTQ is 100% uh, foreign. Not only from one country, but it's foreign to the nature of man. Because God created us. So you can't say God put a man in a woman's body. God can never do that. So please to our listeners, God created you well. Let's all rise up and stand against this evil of LGBTQ. The Great Commission Church International was established in April 1991 and seeks to promote the kingdom of God.